Okay, let's start the materials. So we have all pine. We have two inch, full two inch by full eight inch boards, seven of those, and then uh, two lengths, eight foot lengths, uh, four by four, and I have two four foot chunks, and another two um, two foot chunks right here, and they've been notched out to fit the side and end pieces, and these longer ones have been notched out with a table saw uh, with an inch deep, two inch wide uh, track for these three headboard boards to fit into. And I just have some pocket screws so I can get down here to attach them together. And then on the tops of these 4F4s, I, uh, I just used a chop saw and, and made a nice little chamfer on the edges. Now, I also have these four boards that are going to be the uh, two ends and then the two sides. Um, they are lapped. So the two ends are going to be the upper and the two sides are going to be lower and they'll fit into that notch and then they'll be fastened with a 90 degree bracket. I just have a couple scrap pieces of 4x4 for the very center. I might do one little support because it's a king size bed. <clears throat> and yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fasten the headboard pieces together and fasten them to the 4x4. And then I will stain everything, put a finish on it because those are going to be permanently together. Everything else will be assembled on site. So I'll put a finish on everything and then. I'll dry fit it to make sure I don't have to trim anything up, and yeah. So I got the headboard and the footboard glued up, and they're the only pieces that are going to be glued. And what I had to do here was I had to cut a piece and glue it in for where I cut the groove going down with my table saw. I had to cut a piece, glued it in, and I'll just sand it to make it fit and use a little wood filler. So the next step is to, um, I'll stain both these and the sideboards and then I can get ready to put it all together. Now I didn't want to bore you with all the sanding but I sanded this all down to 220 and now I'm applying a Minwax stain called Early American and then after that I put on three coats of Watco brushing lacquer which is my go-to finish and it turned out really good. I was really happy with it. So here I have a little clip of the bed put together. Now I used 16 2 inch 90 degree brackets, so one in each corner and then along the sides, and a piece of lumber with a post in the middle for the plywood I put on and you'll see that in the photo here. I ended up using two sheets of plywood and then in the next photo you'll see uh, we put a mattress on a little bench make it look good. Now I ended up cutting off four inches uh, from the posts on this bed frame because it's a little high for the customer. But anyway thanks for watching.